Hi, my name is Tomomi Gariano, a certified Zen Tarot teacher. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is day 27 of Inktober 2024. Today's tango is this one, Worthwhile by Nithi Prakash. That sounds Indian, uh, probably, or Paxumisa, I, I'm not sure. But, uh, so anyways, uh, this tango, let me see, I'm looking at step out, it's really cute, uh, it's quite simple, so you have zigzag, and you aura this step zigzag, so your next zigzag is going to be parallel to this, this may be a little, a little tricky, um, like the way that the may be easier is actually hold on a second. Let me let me do the first round first. So you add little little blip from uh, the the tip of the zigzag line going both directions. So it's like a, you know, just imagine this is a pencil. So make sure you are adding, like you have V-shape, adding line this way, not this way, okay? And then on the tip of this line, you add some, any kind of shape. You can add orbs or you can add, looks like she has a, uh, hexagon, uh, triangle, different shapes. So every little, little bump, you add whatever shape of your choice. So if drawing zigzag apparel is a little, find, you find this a little challenging, you may want to do this. Um, well, we'll see if this makes it easier. You, you do first initial zigzag, and then you add a little, your little lines first. And then you know, like extension of this line, it's where the corner of next zigzag is. So this may help you to to figure out how to draw a second zigzag line uh, parallel to the first one. You know, this may this may actually confuse you. So if it confuses you, ignore it, just do initial zigzag and do the second zigzag, okay? So on my tile that I have 24711 from uh, previous day, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna add this tangle here because I want to take up a uh, good amount of space. Because remember, uh, I wanna you know actually since this has a nice square, I'm gonna use this to guide me to create zigzag line. So this one's gonna be like this, I think. And then next one, it's gonna be, I don't know how much space I want in between. Maybe about this much. Is that a, be taking too much? Space. So like this, I think. And then I do these little little lines. And I initially make this short so that, you know, it's 
I can always extend this, but I'm not sure what shape I'm gonna add here. So I keep this, this short. And I will actually echo this shape. So it's gonna be like, I'm actually gonna do rounded shape like this. Oh, maybe I should have aura at this side too. Why not? So, see what I just did? Uh, after I've done just like this, I realize, you know, it would be nice to have aura on this side too. I initially didn't have aura on this side, so I added the aura later. So this was what I wanted to do, well, after the fact, but I forgot to add this aura, so add extra line here. So I added some vertical lines to, to cover up extra lines so that, you know, it kind of sort of looked like that's what I wanted to do to begin with. So no mistakes, right? Now I'm starting with this. So you can decide as you go. You know, when you did something that you didn't intend to do, that's a, that's a great opportunity to create something entirely new. So that's why sometimes we call that I can't recall uh, who coined this term, but I recall this oops tunity. So when you have oops moment, you know, it's not a mistake. You just did something that uh, you didn't meant to do. You didn't intend to do, but that wasn't necessarily a mistake. That's another, just another line that you didn't intend to draw, but you did anyway, so you're gonna make something beautiful out of it. So that's why we call that oops to nitty. Or you know, you may be just doing the simple orbs or simple triangles. So you may be quickly done with this tangle. But I decided to kind of play with it to add this, bring this element to here. So I'm gonna rip. Oh, so I wanna, you see how now I'm a little stuck. So this one, I guess I had to. No, I'm not stuck. I just have to extend this so that I can, I can squeeze this shape here like this. That work? Yeah, I think it'll work. Whew. I thought I, <laughs> I thought I could have, oops, I meant to, or, uh, I'm gonna aura outside. See, initially I thought I didn't have space for this on this side. But all I had to do is extend this line. So 
So that this side, this shape is a little flatter compared to this side, but it's all right. I'm not going for perfection. You know, to me, Zentangle is more about experience and mindfulness rather than creating something perfect or pursuing uh, something to uh, something for exhibition or something to uh, perfect I guess so I really have to think what I'm doing now so you can you can see when I'm focusing on some detail, it's hard for me to to talk and to uh, to do the detail at the same time. When I'm doing something that I feel already comfortable, it's easy to talk. But when I'm still figuring out something new, it's a little difficult to continue chatting through so i can't remember what i was saying but anyways uh just experiment have fun and if you ended up doing something that you and you didn't intend to do that's that's your opportunity to um to create something new to create something uh beautiful see right here you know i have a you know, I try to do this about the same height, but this one is sticking out this way. So let's see, I'm just gonna. Go like this. You know, in the end, nobody gonna, is going to notice there's a little imperfection so I feel like here it needs something I feel this space looks a little empty so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to extend this like shape. How's that? I guess I should have done this way. And here, I don't know if I want to do it or not. I did on this one, but maybe, maybe not. This is I did on the first one. I'll do it on these ones too. And this space too. Maybe I will extend this. Create a little flower. Like this. And draw a little flower like shape. So this is beyond the scope of today's tangle. I'm just showing you what I'm doing to uh, play with the extra space that I have that I feel a little empty. Yeah, I think I'm starting to, to like this. Yeah, 
Now sometimes when you see uh, just the finish, somebody's fin excuse me, finished centangle piece, you know, you, you look, you, you look at the piece and you feel like, oh, that's beautiful. I want to copy, but that's great. You know, that's how you learn to, well, that's one way to learn, but really, you know, you can just do like what I'm doing. Just put your pen to paper and just learn or figure out as you go. And you can build confidence to tangle on any given space in any given uh, tangle. You, you learn to tangle as you go instead of having to have a project or having to figure out everything before you even start. So here we go. Here's my day 27. And I think I'm going to fill whatever comes tomorrow for day 28 with this space and this space. Uh, I may extend these tangles further. But thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye now.